for many years that we lived in the Holy Land of Israel. I was traveling at night to the sites and graves of the Holy Righteous Ones. And here we are in Haifa. And this is the old cemetery. You can see that some of the graves are very ancient. Some of them been rebuilt. And here in this main room is the grave of few righteous ones, few amazing and righteous people that are buried. Some of them are more familiar and known, some of them are less. The main most famous one of them is the Amora. Amora means a sage from the generation of the Talmud, of the Gemara. The Amora Kadosh of Avdimi de Min Haifa, the righteous man named Avdimi that lived in Haifa. 2,000 years ago and more. And he said, for an example, that from the day that the temple was destroyed, the prophecy was taken away from the prophets and was given to the wise ones, to the sages. So, the Gemara is saying on that, that a wise person is not a prophet, and it's true. But from what we just said, even though that he's not a prophet, and he is just a wise person, but still the prophecy was given to him, even though it was taken away from the prophets. It means that the sages and the wise, real, true, righteous ones, until today, are really powerful. <clears throat> powerful in their power to reveal the good and real will of the Creator upon us. Here we can see more graves. In that room there is a women's section that righteous women are praying over there right now. I'll walk with you a little bit around this holy graveyard just for you to have some sense of the purity of the Holy Land, how everything comes together when you realize simple roots of the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only are planted deep in this Holy Land of Israel. 2,000 years ago of Avdimi de Min Haifa, that lived in Haifa 2,000 years ago. And you will want to tell me that a nation that started to call themselves Palestinian 100 years ago can argue and claim to inherit the promised land that was promised by the Creator to the children of Yaakov. The land was promised to the children of Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. From Avraham came two, Ishmael and Yitzhak. But you cannot say that it was given to both because the promise was also to Yitzhak. So here Ishmael lost his grip in the Holy Land of Israel. And there you have Yitzhak with two children as well, Esav and Yaakov. But the land was not promised only to Yitzhak. It was also promised to Yaakov. So here Esav lost his grip. And Yaakov the righteous man with his 12 tribes, holy tribes of Israel, are the ones to inherit the land. This is the holy grave of the righteous one, Rabbeinu Nisim Yosef al Nekaveh, and other righteous people that are buried around very special tombstones, very unique.
very powerful sight. And over there we can see in that holy piece of land buried the Ramban and his students, the Ritva and Rabbi Echiel from Paris, the Ramban Akadosh. We can never imagine and understand the holiness of those righteous ones and the Ritva Akadosh. Rabbi Echiel mi Paris. Righteous people, known and famous to the lovers of the Torah, to the ones who learns the Talmud. Holy sights, holy footsteps in the holy land of Israel, in the city of Haifa, very close to the port. Many army bases are located, located here in the sea line. My wife and two of our wonderful children are also learning about the holiness of this place and my wife is explaining to them on the importance of praying in front and close to the righteous ones places. Very thankful to Hashem for allowing us to come to those holy places. We can never know. It's a known and famous thing that the majority of the wonders and the miracles in the life of a person are the ones that he is not aware of. So I believe that also here, the majority of the true righteous ones that are buried, that we can enjoy their holiness and purity, are the ones that their names has been forgotten or been erased from our memory. Souls and souls and souls, righteous and righteous, men and women, buried together in purity and holiness. May their holy souls be a blessing for us and for all our loved ones, for all the souls that they're foundation is within the Torah Kedusha, the Holy Torah, and the land of Israel. This is, I don't know how you say that in English, a grave that uh, many are buried in it together, like brothers' grave. from the murders that took place in the year Hatarpat. And the verse that is written here, murders that probably took place in this area of Haifa by the Arabs on the innocent Jews that lived here back then in those days unfortunate bloodsheds that are keep on bringing fear and terror to the world. But our mission will always be to reveal the light of love and godliness to the world, not to be defeated by fear and darkness and only greatness and loving kindness will spread out to the world and will shine out.
to everyone who desires to serve the one God that is above us and within our souls in unity together, holy and complete as one. Amen.